the the no turnovers or the, or the 20 assists for him? Um, well, we've seen CP, you know, have high uh, assist numbers, but to have no turnovers in a game like that, well, we kind of were all over the place. The ball was hopping all over, and um, we shared the ball. For him to have no turnovers, that was, that was pretty huge. You uh, you saw Chris it looked like take a shot from Ashik in the first half. Or, I think it was in the first half, and you kind of went over. No, that was Austin. Well, that was in the second half. Oh. He's pretty tough. He's all right. I guess that's what I'm asking is, like, you know, the Austin guys were trying to help him up, but it was clear that he was down. Is that kind of a scary thing when, when a guy gets a shot to the head like that? Yeah, and, yeah, it's always tough. It's scary, especially, you know, with everything that's going on. But um, I'm just happy that he was able to get up on his own two feet and walk up out of here. He tried to come back in the game. Which was which was crazy, and then um, you know when he when he came back again, he wasn't right, you know, with the lights and the screaming. But um, he, he looked pretty good, and he was um, he remembered his birthday, so that was that was that was good. Yeah. I don't know. I just I just asked for I just asked what's your birthday. And he said something, so I'm glad he said uh, he didn't give me like the like today's date. So I just I, I passed him. DeAndre, it just, just kind of seemed like a fun night for you guys. It seemed like everyone was just sort of enjoying it, maybe more um, than recent stretches. I don't know. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, with us coming off of, you know, two losses, that was that was pretty tough. But tonight we, we were pretty desperate. And, um, you know, Chris came out there and led us the way that, you know, he always does, especially with Blake being out. That was also tough. Um, but yesterday in practice we went over um, moving the basketball and uh, just sharing in the spirit of the past. And tonight we did that. That's why – this guy had 20 assists tonight. Chris, this is for you. I, I think as far as anybody can tell, you're, you're the first player in league history to have 20 points, 20 assists, and no turnovers Ooh, yeah. in, in, uh, in a game. Um, I got enough turnovers in the past, like three, four games. <laughs> you should feel like that's just course correcting then, right, with right. the turnovers and stuff? Right. Yeah, you were due. Right. Um, what did it feel like out there tonight for you? Did it just – things just look – I mean, did things feel as easy as they look? Um, uh, somewhat, we, like you said, we had a really good practice yesterday where we just moved the ball. Um, that was focused on going downhill. Like I always say with assists, uh, I have the easy part in passing the ball. Guys got to make the shot. So DJ, uh, caught a couple for dunks. Uh, Mo hit a lot of threes and so did JJ. So, so the first record, you were the second player in Clippers history to have 20 points and 20 assists, and then I asked DJ the same question. What, what means more to you, that or the zero turnovers that you finished with in the game? Um, the turnovers. The turnovers. That's, that's the first thing I look at every game. You know what I mean? How many turnovers. I didn't got many attacks in games because I got a turnover or something like that that I didn't think was a turnover. I think, like, as a point guard, I'm like the quarterback. So turnovers are like interceptions. And when you got as much offensive power as we have, anytime I get a turnover, that took away that opportunity. 